So this is the exciting question about Alien, the RPG. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to approach this from the perspective of a GM. And I'm not going to give away any spoilers. But we kind of know the Alien, the Xenomorph, is, is central in the adventures. It's central either through mystery or directly confronting it. And especially, I mean, the Star Gods also, the Engineers also. But... Also, from the perspective, if you're playing cinematic play, and, and Alien the RPG is really interesting because it allows you to play a campaign, develop your character over multiple stories, and, and make those decisions, but it also recognizes part of the Alien universe is roll up a character, pick a roll, put you into the grinder, and it's, it's almost survival horror where you have to, to face um, the alien. So it's natural to begin to ask the question and begin to approach, can we beat the alien? Can we fight the alien and working against us in a good way. Uh, again, the rules for this role playing game are fantastic. The narrative is fantastic. This idea that um, when you take an action, depending on the environment around you and, and depending on how much you want to push the action, stress works against you. Um, D6 to succeed, but also D6 is working against you. And for a moment, you could go panic. You could go insane. You could take actions that you don't want to take. You can be pulled out of the control of your character for a moment, representing that that fractioning of your sanity. That's kind of interesting. That, that's kind of, um, I've been enjoying that aspect the most, especially facing the xenomorph, the avatar, your character on the table facing that xenomorph. So the first thing I would say, um, if I was beginning to explore it, this is not Dungeons and Dragons. You are not immortals. You are not gods. Um, even in the current edition of Dungeons and Dragons, lower level characters, it's, it's assumed you're something special. It's assumed that you're a hero based on the influence of MMOs and the influx of new players and their vision of D&D. You, you see where people expect to level up. They expect to advance quickly. They expect to become powerful. I mean, all of the character classes have very, very powerful feats and abilities backed by magic items. Death is not permanent. You get resurrected. You get healed. Healing surges, no problem. Not a criticism, but if you play d d it, it's almost a shock where it's like, wait, I died? And if you're playing d d as expected, there's this idea, Dungeons & Dragons, as a challenge rating. Meaning, this is the level of the party, this is the balance, and these are the encounters that you're going to throw against them because they're fair. Alien the RPG is not fair. There is nothing fair about it. You are a normal person, you might not know you're a person because you might be an android, but while those protocols are in effect, you're a normal person. Even if you're an android because the protocols have been disabled or openly you're an android, you're much more powerful than a human, but compared to the alien, um, the alien is tough. The alien is tough to fight. So right away you have to approach that. Um, you're going to have some skills. You might be a colonial marine. You might be a mercenary. You might have some tech skills to, to interact with um, the ship or the space station or the colony. I mean, you have a lot of resources, but those resources are not magical-based, fantasy-based, godlike-based, uh, win mode on. They are things that you are going to have to marshal in terms of skill and utilize in terms of skill which are very, very challenging. And in a direct confrontation with the alien, here's, here's where things get interesting too. Um, the idea of panic and insanity and its effect on your character, you have to deal with that also. Um, so even if you come up with the ultimate plan for the alien, the ultimate plan for the alien, how you're going to fight it, and it comes down to direct confrontation, um, every round that you're involved fighting the alien is a round where you might panic is a round where if it attacks you, you're probably going to die. You, you die very, very quickly. The only game that, a uh, role-playing game that I've played where you tend to die quicker and in crazier ways is uh, Warhammer 40,000 Dark Heresy. You know, Dark Heresy is, uh, again, you're just normal inquisitors. You're normal human beings. You might have some abilities. Um, you know, you get hit with a bolt round, uh, you just explode. You're dead. And you're wearing armor, by the way, but you're dead. Because it just exploded your armor, you're dead. And you're like, what do you mean I'm dead? No saving throw? I've got like, you know, hit points, body points. No, there's like, you're dead. You roll on the chart, you're dead. So Alien the RPG, 
if you're coming from another role playing game, you need to approach that. You need to respect, you need to understand the deadliness, the finesse of the alien. And, and as a GM, um, there is some AI on how to play the alien um, where you can autopilot it. But if you take control uh, as the GM with a resourceful GM, it is very, very lethal. So what that means, and I understand your chance of success. You have my pity. You have my heartfelt feelings. You have to do everything you can as a team, working together to engage the alien from a distance, to, to trap it. It becomes very cat and mouse, where the alien's the cat, you're the mouse. You need to reverse that. And the alien's going to be resourceful. It's the perfect organism, the perfect life form. But you need to flip that and you need to trap it. You need to encounter it. You need to deal with it at a distance. And that's, that's going to give you uh, the greatest chance of success. So approaching this game and, and maybe giving your, um, you don't want to give any spoilers, but, but maybe if you're pulling in players from another role-playing group, you know, giving them a heads up where it's like, this is not Dungeons and Dragons. This is not auto win. This is not God mode on. This is going to be real deal survival horror. And, you know, we're playing a cinematic game. So we need to work as a team. We need to take advantages. And, and literally, all you have is your resources. All you have is your mind. Because there's no meta power that you can rely on in Alien the RPG. 